hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to share with you how to make this beautiful bra pattern if you want to know how it's done stay tuned so over here i have got my pattern paper and i'm going to start by marking quarter of my bust round circumference which is nine inches and then i'm going to draw a square of around nine by nine inches then I'm going to divide the square into four equal parts, as you can see on the screen. The next thing that I am going to do is to mark or label my lines. So I'm going to use alphabets as A, B, C, and D. So on the square that is A, from A, I am going to divide this line into half all the way down to D. Then from D, I am going to mark a two centimeter or one inch going up. Then I'm going to connect this point all the way to the center line. Now our upper cup is done. Now creating the lower cup from the B box, I am going to divide this square into four equal parts. And then right on this square over here, I am going to create a cross. And I'm going to mark E. So I'm going to create a cross. Now, right on the center, I am going to extend this line all the way to that bottom line, to the D line. So I'm going to extend it all the way down. Then between these two points, I am going to find a center marking. Then from there, on both sides, I am going to mark four centimeters. Four centimeters or one and a half inch on both sides. And then you want to now connect the two points as shown on the screen. And now guys, our lower cup is complete. Now creating the cradle, I am going to mark quarter of my bust round circumference, which is nine inches. And the width of my cradle is going to be 4.5 inches, which I measured the point from E to C, which is 4.5 inches. And then I am going to create a rectangle of around 4.5 inches. Now I want to divide this rectangle into two equal parts. Now I am going to label, which is A, B, C, and D. So from the point C, and I'm going to divide this square into half again and then from d i am going to move up by four cm or one and a half inch you could move it up by one and a half inch or two inches but i'm going to move up by four cm now and then i'm going to move in by one centimeter or half an inch then I'm going to blend this line, as you can see on the screen, with a curved in line all the way to the center line. And then I'm also going to extend this line to that center line also. Just blend it in. And this is going to be your cradle. 
so right on the C point I am going to go in by half of an inch and then connect it to the B point so right at the bottom I am going to add half an inch seam for elastic casing so you can add half an inch seam or one cm depending on the elastic or the width of the elastic that you have Now guys, to create the band pattern, we will need to make so, uh, do some calculation. So I'm going to take my bust round circumference, which is 36 inches, and I'm going to subtract it with my under bust measurement, okay? And my under bust measurement is actually 31. So 36 subtract 31 is, it gives me five inches, okay? So now I'm going to take the 31, which is the under bust measurement, and I'm going to subtract the five inches. And my answer is going to be 26, which is going to be my new under bust measurement. So I'm going to take this 26 and I'm going to divide it into four. Okay, so when I take 26 divided by 4, it's going to give me 6.5. So I'm going to uh, round it off to the nearest decimal, which is going to be 7 inches. So you guys want to do the same calculation. So now for the width of the band, I'm going to measure between E and C, which is 4.5 or 5 inches. And I am going to mark the width of the band, which is five inches and the length of my band is going to be seven inches and that is going to be the length of my band so now once we are done creating our pattern guys we need to go ahead and add seam allowance i am going to add 0 0.5 seam allowance around my pattern as you can see guys i've added on the lower cup and the high cup also on the cradle as you can see all around except the center front and also the band I've added seam allowance 0 0.5 and also created some notches on the upper cap and also the lower cap to make it easier when we actually sew this onto our fabric so I went ahead guys to try this pattern on fabric and I sewed it up and this is how it turned out. Although it's not done yet, I'm loving the outcome already and I hope you guys will try it. So guys, I hope you enjoy making this project. See you on the next one.